All right, hey there guys, this is Hey Wanderings. In this video, I take my brother, my father, and my nephew on a fishing trip, and it is an absolute blast. So the first thing that is just awesome about this trip is that it's a completely new stretch of water. Home is home, baby. That's right, uh, home, home is home. Home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Hold on to your butts. Oh Hit me, quote, Ian. Hold on to your butts. Oh, um, oh my god. This is gradient right here. This is extreme gradient. Ah, blanket on it. This is actually pretty yeah. sweet, dude. All right. Great cast, dude. There you go. Nice. Oh. He's gone. Dude. All right, guys, first three minutes of the day. We already got a little pike here. Good looking. Oh, let's get the release in. There she goes. All right, guys, I didn't think we would. All right, catching fish. All right, guys, so we're gonna do our intro right here. We got a cool trip planned today. We have my nephew, Liam. They caught that muskie last year. Liam, turn around so you can see the camera, buddy. Tell Say him what you just catch. Hi. I caught All a All right, Scott, we got Liam. We got my pops here. Howdy. He tells people that he taught me everything I know about fishing. That's not true. I've taught him everything he knows about fishing. And last but not least, we got my bro back here in this. Oh, 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 oh. That was a mosquito. I was going to say something mean about my brother's attire and I swallowed a mosquito. That is karma. This is my brother. He's gonna catch a fish today. Um, this is gonna be a fun day. We are on a new stretch of water. Never done it. This is an adventure like none other. Intimate small river action, and we're gonna have a blast. Stick with it, guys. Let's go catch some fish. All right, we're gonna anchor for a second, guys. Ian, your spinner right here behind that rock. Are you kidding me? We're good. Nobody talk about it. Right in there. It's easier to pull when you're in fast water, Ian. Push when you're in slow water, pull when you're in fast water. That's a cool rock. Because right pulling there. slows you down. You see that? Yeah. So you aim at what you want to avoid and you just pull backwards. Yeah, 
homes, man. It'll be alright. Keep your head down, please. Watch your pole. Do you call me a helmsman? Yeah. And an oarsman. Orms, oarsman, whatever. Yeah. I wonder what this is like during low water. Oh, that's perfect. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. You snagged? It's okay. Well, past by the point. Such a good feeling though, if I could get it on the side. Yeah, I thought you were I thought you were home free. Okay, Dad, that's fish, that's fish. That's fish. Real, 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 that's fish. There's fish! Oh my gosh, did you see that? What just happened? Dude! Real. Dude! That fish in the foam! Yeah. Oh! That was cool. That was cool. Keep reeling, bud. Oh my gosh, that's a huge smallmouth. Dude, that was awesome, bud. That's great. I do think like a fish. <laughs> Bring it to the left. Bring it to the left, Liam. You thought a fish would lick, like living there, huh? You were right. Keep reeling. Or bring it, Dad. We don't want to lose this one. We don't want to lose it. We don't want to lose it. Bring it in. 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 Yes. Good. Yes. Good job. Nice job, bud. You thinking like a fish now? Yeah, guess what? Guess what? Guess what I caught that one. Where? I said that was in the foam. Did you say that? Yeah. Tell him. I said yeah, that. Yeah. I actually and did that, say Baba cast in the and foam. I didn't want to cast in the foam. I was going to try to be in front of the foam, but it went too far <laughs> and it landed in the foam. And wham. The second Dude. one popped in. Dude, look at that one, Liam. Kiss. Look at that one. A kiss? Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. Probably not right now. You kiss so that was the foam fish. We're calling that the foam fish. Yeah, that was Got video going, guys. Liam, smile, buddy. You're you're look constipated. All right, guys. You put it back in the water, pups. How did you get that one, Liam? Can let go. Yes. Good. All right, Liam. Look right here. Tell the camera. How did you get that fish? Uh, I said Baba cast in the foam, and Baba didn't want to, but his cast went a little too far, and he cast in the foam. And then right when I were hit, Uncle Ben thought it was a turtle at me, we were hit, but it was a fish. That's right. Professor. Right there in the foam, guys. Okay, that was not in the foam, weak. was it? That was weak. That was weak. All right, uh, edit that part out later. Well, we're going to edit that out. Call that fail sauce. Call <laughs> that fail sauce. Okay. He hooked some nice grass, though. Okay, let me get it in the foam. Oh, you did it, right? Just kind of jiggle that a little bit in there. Oh, yep, let it let it go back into the foam. So this is crazy pants. Um, we are fishing today, it's like August something or another, but it is cold out. The high today is gonna be like 65, maybe 66. Um, we've had a crazy cold snap here. I just checked the water temp, and the water temp is 58 degrees. Now, usually 58 degrees is not topwater smallmouth territory, but we've already had a big pike this morning on topwater, and we just had that incredible foam fish right here on top water. So you know what? Just because it's 58 degrees doesn't mean you can't catch really nice fish still on top water. Hi. Should I try to get the tail in first? No, head always head first, head first. Lift, lift up. Just try not to get oh. twisted. Oh. Cranked her. Cranked her. This is what you got that muskie on last year. She came out and boom! Daddy, ready? Yep. Whoa, that's the biggest yet. Like that? Can you see it? Yeah. That's nice. The biggest yet. Nice, guys. Check that out. Is that is a sweet pike. 
Ia. Thank you Ia, so much, buddy, baby. Can I see that camera? There she goes. We just want it over. Two. Two pike. First 10 minutes. Nice. If I say lean a certain direction, do it immediately. All right, Captain. So stay in the center of the raft, please. All right. Oh, you're down below? Perfect. Still hold on tight. The first thing that is just awesome about this trip is that it's a completely new stretch of water. Um, you know, virgin territory. I've never been there, never touched it. And the entire eight hour trip, not a single house, not a single person uh, did we see. You know, it's, it's a really special thing when you can go out and find places like this and not only beautiful, not only wild, but also fishy. As you're seeing, we're in this, you know, rocky, swift water. The water was high, but I had, you know, done enough research to realize that it wasn't going to be too gnarly. Uh, I don't try new water usually with new people um, unless I'm pretty darn confident in where, where I'm at and what I'm doing. Uh, we catch smallmouth, we catch pike, and we catch walleye. I thought, thought is past tense, I thought we might run into musky. Um, and I was hoping at one point I hooked into a nice fish and I was like, oh my gosh, maybe it's a musky, wasn't on camera and it turned out to be a really nice pike. I ended up going back there later that summer and we hooked into a fish and I am pretty darn sure that it was a muskie and such a beautiful, remote and tiny, tiny, tiny system. Um, those are the most fun for me, you know, getting out and trying new water. Um, there's a lot of spots to go that are big water situations where you're guaranteed that there are some big fish, but I'd much rather go to those intimate settings and see what we can find. So this video, I'm gonna try to kind of give you the, the narration and the background of voiceover. I don't do this very often. I don't think I've ever done this before. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see what you guys think. Leave a comment. Uh, and let me know, do you like my normal videos with that music and kind of montage style? Or do you maybe like this change of pace and hearing about how the day is going? The day started off with a pike within the first couple casts. My father and my nephew were in the front of the raft and my brother was in the back. And none of them are particularly great fishermen, although they have fished before. Um, but I told them, I just want you casting. We're just going to see what is here to catch. It's a scouting day, so whatever happens, happens. No expectations. So for me to be able to fish, there's really only two ways to do it. When I'm on the oars, I have to cast quickly in between rowing, which is pretty darn difficult because it doesn't give you much time or I have to anchor and fish in the deeper sections. So right off the beginning of the day we're in some calmer water and I start casting and I think on the third cast I hooked up into a, a pike and that's kind of when I realized that I was actually going to make a video out of it is I had this good feeling like okay we're going to catch some fish we can do this. All along the banks of this river, um, overgrown with trees, in some areas it's tag alders, in other areas it's pine trees, um, hardwoods, really not a lot of bank space. The water was up as well, so we were fishing and we were trying to fish um, behind rocks where you know you'd typically find some smallmouth but with the water being up so high um, we weren't finding fish in those areas that I was expecting them to be at. Throughout the day we had to change our tactics a couple different times. Um, there was a 
cold spike. It dropped from about 80, 90 degrees. It dropped, I think, 20 or 30 degrees the day before. Um, and then it hit like 60 degrees. And, you know, 60 degrees isn't that cold. But when it was 85 the day before, um, that's a huge jump, 25 degrees in one day. And so the water temperature as well, with it raining so much, has really kept the rivers colder. And I wasn't expecting top water to be effective. Um, so we were fishing with subsurface, we were fishing with top water, we ended up fishing with some jigs uh, on the bottom, and we did end up catching fish on all of those different tactics. And I'd love to go back and slowly fish the system myself to try to get a better idea of where and what um, you know the different styles of fishing could be, um, but I was happy with, with how it went. Um, throughout the day, uh, we caught walleye as well. I wasn't expecting to catch walleye, but every time we were in the bends, uh, we got in the deeper, slower water, we were dropping down jigs, and we were catching walleye directly beneath the raft. Just, just up and down, vertical jigging in about 6 to 10 feet of water, directly under the raft, and getting some golden, golden walters. There we go. Which is so much fun. Yeah. I love pulling up fish directly from beneath the raft. It's a y'all. Something I've special a about that. They call it a walleye because its eyes bug out? No. Okay, because its eyes looks like it's bugging out. Yeah, it's it's because its eyes are bugging out. <laughs> Dude. You were right about deep, the deep, deep hole. hole. Yeah. That's walleye in deep hole. I don't think I've ever had walleye. I don't know. I'm so excited. I didn't even have that on the camera. Dude, that's a beautiful golden fish. Can I kiss him? No, but you can look at it. You like that, dude? Sweet, man. That is a s beautiful. The last time Uncle Bunch and I kissed, you actually warned me to this one. Did you realize that I caught that fish literally directly? It's underneath us? Yeah. I let this go straight down. And I was just going like this. I was going to tell you to do As it. As the day progressed, we got to different sections. Some sections were super tight. At one point, there was a, a an abandoned canoe that had been, like, smashed into the side of a tree. Hopefully, whoever lost that canoe is still alive. It was pretty darn gnarly. Um, but I assume when that water gets high and it gets going fast, it is dangerous through there. Um, my raft did great, uh, but even at a couple of sections, I did, it was low enough, even though it was high, I still had to kind of, not drag it, but it scraped through, so awesome having that rubber to be able to do what it needed to do. When the tactics that we were trying to get to work just didn't happen, uh, we had to switch it up, and so we tried subsurface, we tried this, we tried that, and eventually, uh, I put on a paddle tail, and, and that's when I actually had that success on the walleye. Um, the water was just so fast that what we were trying to cast wasn't able to get down to where those fish were. It was such a cool experience being able to show um, a part of our, our rivers up here to my brother and my father and my nephew. Um, they're more city people. They live downstate Michigan. And so they had that chance to experience, um, you know, the great outdoors that we have up here. And uh, it was just really a really cool experience. My brother caught his first fish in maybe the last 10 years. Uh, Ian, can you correct me on that? Have you caught a fish in 10 years, 15 years? I don't actually know. Um, so it was really, really special. Um, and I was so happy to put my brother on fish. He actually had a giant topwater strike that unfortunately we lost, um, but it got the blood pumping, which is just what it's all about. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, you know, a little bit of this audio in the background, the, the voiceover. Um, if you liked it, please leave a comment down below. I love getting home, checking your comments and responding. Um, if you enjoy my content, but you are kind of hiding in the background, um, be a subscriber, that'd be great.
How? Did you see that charity cast I gave him where I threw it in the tree so he could have the fish cast? How many eyes did She's strong. You're gonna grab her, pups? She's big enough to play with. Hold her up, pups, hold her up. Can I look at the play with she's big enough? Nice. Beautiful. She's big enough to play with. I don't think so, dude. That's beautiful. You can let her go. That was a nice bite, too. That was. So I actually feel good about that because I saw the spot I wanted. I casted it where I wanted it to. I did the lure just right. And last, check out my Q&A giveaway video. It's still live. So if you want to get in on that, I am doing a giveaway that's probably going to be closing very soon. Um, that being said, as always, catch or least wander. I hope you guys have a great one. And I will see you in the next video. All right, go catch some fish.